The High Tide on the Coast of Lincolnshire, 1571, Jean Ingelow. A sea wall broke and a dangerous rush of water poured from the Lindus River. It caused much destruction, including the loss of life of the speaker's daughter-in-law and grandchildren, who were out calling the cows home for milking time. The repetition of words denotes a distance ever fading into oblivion. Mavis Enderby is the town situated on high land. The Brides of Enderby is the peal of bells used as a warning to the countryside. The High Tide on the Coast of Lincolnshire, 1571 the old mare climbed the belfry tower, the ringers ran by two by three. Pull if you never pulled before, good ringers, pull your best, quoth he. Play up, play up, O oh Boston bells, play all your changes, all your swells, play up, the brides of Enderby. Men say it was a stolen tide, the Lord that sent it, he knows all, but in mine ears doth still abide the message that the bells let fall. And there was naught of strange beside the flight of mews and peewits pied by millions crouched on the old sea wall. I sat and spun within the door, my thread break off, I raised mine eyes. The level sun, like ruddy ore, lay sinking in the barren skies, and dark against day's golden death she moved where Linda's wandereth, my son's fair wife, Elizabeth. Kusha, 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 calling, ere the early dews were falling. Far away I heard her song, Kusha, Kusha, all along, where the reedy lindus floweth, floweth, floweth. From the meads where millet groweth, faintly came her milking song. Kusha, 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 calling, for the dews will soon be falling. Leave your meadow grasses mellow, mellow, mellow. Quit your cowslips, cowslips yellow. Come up, white foot, come up, light foot. Quit the stalks of parsley hollow, hollow, hollow. Come up, jetty, rise and follow. From the clovers, lift your head. Come up, white foot, come up, light foot. Come up, jetty, rise and follow. Jetty to the milking shed. If it be long, a eh, long ago, when I begin to think how long, Again I hear the lindus flow, swift as an arrow, sharp and strong, and all the air it seemeth me, been full of floating bells, saith she, that ring the tune of en Enderby. All fresh the level pasture lay, and not a shadow mote be seen. Save where, full five good miles away, the steeple towered from out the green, and lo, the great bell far and wide was heard in all the countryside that Saturday at eventide. The swan herds where their sedges are, moved on in sunset's golden breath. The shepherd lads I heard afar, and my son's wife, Elizabeth, till floating o'er the grassy sea, came down that kindly message free, the brides of Mavis Enderby. Then some looked up into the sky, and all along where Lindus flows, to where the goodly vessels lie, and where the lordly steeple shows. They said, And why should this thing be? What danger lowers by land or sea? They ring the tune of Enderby. For evil news from Mablethorpe, of pirate galleys warping down, for ships ashore beyond the scorp, they have not spared to wake the town. But while the west been red to sea, and storms be none, and pirates flee, why ring the brides of Enderby? I looked without, and lo, my son came riding down with might and main. He raised a shout as he drew on, till all the welkin rang again. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, a sweeter woman ne'er drew breath than my son's wife Elizabeth. The old sea wall, he cried, is down. The rising tide comes on apace, and boats are drifting yonder town, go sailing up the market place. He shook as one that looks on death. God save you, mother, straight he saith. Where is my wife, Elizabeth? Good son, 
Where Linda's wind so winds away, with her two bairns I marked her long, and ere yon bells began to play, afar I heard her milking song. He looked across the grassy lea to right to left, ho in Enderby, they rang the brides of Enderby. With that, with that he cried and beat his breast, for lo, along the river's bed, a mighty eager reared his crest, and up the lindus raging sped. It swept with thunderous noises loud, shaped like a curling snow-white cloud, or like a demon in a shroud. And rearing, lindus backward pressed, shook all her trembling banks amain. Then madly at the eager's breast, flung up her weltering walls again. Then banks came down with ruin and rout. Then beaten foam flew round about, and all the mighty floods were out. So far, so fast, the eager drave. The heart had hardly time to beat before a shallow seething wave sobbed in the grasses at our feet. The feet had hardly time to flee before it break against the knee, and all the world was in the sea. Upon the roof we sate that night, the noise of bells went sweeping by. I marked the lofty beacon light stream from the church tower, red and high, a lurid mark and dread to see, and awesome bells they were to me, that in the dark rang Enderby. They rang the sailor lads to guide from roof to roof who fearless rode, and I, my son, was at my side, and yet the ruddy beacon glowed. And yet he moaned beneath his breath, O oh, come in life, or come in death, O oh, lost my love Elizabeth. And didst thou visit him no more? Thou didst, thou didst, my daughter dear. The water laid thee at his door, ere yet the early dawn was clear. Thy pretty barons in fast embrace, the lifted sun shone on thy face. Down drifted to thy dwelling place. That flows through wrecks about the grass that ebb swept out the flocks to see, a fatal ebb and flow, alas, to many more than mine and me. But each will mourn his own, she saith, and sweeter woman ne'er drew breath than my son's wife, Elizabeth. I shall never hear her more by the reedy Lindis shore, Cusha, 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 calling, ere the early dews be falling. I shall never hear her song, Cusha, Cusha, all along where the sunny Lindus floweth, goeth, floweth, from the meads where millet groweth, when the water winding down onward floweth to the town. I shall never see her more, where the reeds and rushes quiver, shiver, quiver, stand beside the sobbing river, sobbing, throbbing, in its falling, to the sandy, lonesome shore. I shall never hear her calling. Leave your meadow grasses mellow, mellow, mellow. Quit your cowslips, cowslips yellow. Come up, whitefoot, come up, lightfoot. Quit your pipes of parsley hollow, hollow, hollow. Come up, lightfoot, rise and follow. Lightfoot, lightfoot, from your clovers lift the head. Come up, jetty, follow, follow. Jetty to the milking shed.